what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today as you notice we're in the 135 we're driving it so it is running we're gonna go ahead to uh there's a meet there's a bmw meet tonight so we're heading there now but i wanted to update you on what's going on um so i don't repeat myself let me play what i uh videotaped a few days ago and then uh, we'll catch you right back up as soon as that's done let's go hey guys what's going on welcome back to the channel today the 135 should be done so let me give you a quick update um the axles are in the diff is in everything is in i actually took it for a drive it drove fine there was no noise except when i turn on the boost all the way up once i turn it all the way up and i was full throttle i got a little noise it sounded like it was a dry shaft hitting something again but i think we have a solution my thought is that the current transmission mounts or maybe the diff mounts they're just too much flex because they're rubber they're still stock i i never upgraded them i know i should but i never did so my guess is once all that torque at full boost is hidden is shifting the transmission or maybe the diff and is moving in enough where the dry shaft is hitting something so i ended up picking these up right here and i'm hoping with these solid mounts for the transmission i'm hoping they're first of all I, i'm hoping they're not too hard and they're vibrate too much but i'm hoping what it fixes the big issue and it just doesn't flex too much and we can go into full boost so let's get these installed and take the car for a drive and hopefully hopefully the car will be back to normal and we can have some fun in it so uh let's go all right if you've never done transmission mounts before it's super easy they're both right there there's a bolt right on the bottom and there's a bolt right on the top so you just want to support the transmission and take those two bolts out and slide the new ones in. All right, just like that, the new ones are in. So let's take a first spin. So I'm in the car now, just got it started. And uh, you can definitely tell the vibration. Now, I don't know if it's a little too much or what yet, but now that we're going for a ride, or not but the vibration almost feels like a little too much and also the noise of the transmission is way louder I don't know if you can hear it but you hear it before it was pretty loud because the single mass flywheel and all that but now it's like when I get on that a little bit that's super loud so I'm doing about 50 miles per hour right now and um, the vibration is actually not too bad once you're cruising I've noticed once you get on the throttle a little bit past like 3000 RPMs the, the vibrations get pretty bad I don't know if this is something that the car will get better as the time goes. They, they got to settle in or something. Or they're, just, they're just so solid that this is how it's going to feel. If this is how it's going to feel, then I'm going to replace them because it's just not even like enjoyable. It almost, it, it's just a little bit too much. It's kind of like a weird feeling when you're cruising it's a little bit noticeable but when you get on it a little bit i'm talking i'm not even talking about full throttle i'm talking about half throttle maybe quarter throttle it just way too aggressive I, I just don't even know if it's normal i don't know if it's a combination between the dry shaft the single the, the one piece dry shaft and the mounts and the single mass flywheel that's creating a pretty crazy vibration or just I don't know but man this is just 
too much. It doesn't even feel right. second gear and uh, about 14 pounds of boost so nothing too crazy just kind of want to feel it out well one is still making that noise not sure if you heard it as soon as I got on it that like clanking sound and two, these mounds are just ridiculous. Well, these mounds are definitely not for me. Like I said before, I don't know if it's a combination from all the different things I have, but they just, they vibrate way too much. It, it doesn't even make the car comfortable to drive. So we're gonna get these things out, put the stock ones back in, maybe get like a something a little bit harder than OEM kind of like a OEM plus uh, and then we'll go from there the noise is still there so it's not like these mounts helped at all with that noise so there's no sense of running these if the noise is still there now if it helped it out then I'll probably just suck it up and stay with these but like I said it didn't help out so let's get these mounts out and uh, Let's just dig in more and, and see if we can find that noise. All right, so I can, as you can see in the video, uh, didn't really work to have those uh, motor, I mean, uh, those transmission mounts. So we're back in the stock mounts. The car doesn't shake, it, it drives fine, but we're still having that issue. I can, I can push about 15 PSI or so, anything over that, um, I'm getting the dry shaft hidden on something. Uh, so, we're going to go to the show now, uh, we're about 10-15 minutes away, and uh, we'll catch you there.